Geffen, for those with higher standards. Let me show you how to make chicken and potatoes exciting. When I grew up as a kid and I came home from school and I asked my mother, Ma, what's for supper tonight? And she would say, chicken and potatoes. And I'd go, eh, chicken and potatoes? Guess what? Let me show you how to prepare it. Chicken and potatoes that your kids will love, you'll love, everybody will love it. We can even call it paprikash chicken. You guys all know my green apron. It means so much to me. And I got a new one, I got a blue one. What do you like? The blue, the green. This one matches better with the kitchen. This one is my identity. What should I wear? Comment below. Let us know what you think, which one we should do. Blue apron it is. This goes away. Let's do this together. Just sing along with me. It'll be cool. Onions, I'm gonna saute onions. I have two different types of onions. I have the regular Spanish onions. I have white onions. I have, I'm gonna saute that. I got my garlic. I'm gonna brown my chicken, potatoes, spice it up. Simple. Let's go. My onions are sauteing in the pot. My garlic is in there. It's all starting to smell. I wanna get my chicken in. I'm gonna cut one of the chicken legs because I'm not sure how this is gonna fit. So I'm gonna put two whole chicken legs. The third one I'm gonna cut. I have red potatoes over here. Two red potatoes. Cutting that into four. Sweet potato, a little bit. I usually don't eat the sweet potato, but you know what? My family does. I have a high flame. I'm gonna put my chicken skin down. I wanna get a nice crispy chicken skin, okay? So we're gonna lower the flame a little later. For now, I'm gonna put a skin down. I have a few different types of potatoes here and I have a few different types of onions. I have a Spanish onion, I have a white onion. I have a red potato, Idaho potato. I have sweet potato. It's all gonna go in the pot. Find a corner, there's always one corner you can find. I'm gonna lower the flame in around five minutes. I have a few more pieces of garlic here. I didn't put them before. I'm gonna throw this in as well. And now we have to spice it up. Salt. Black pepper. Little bit of garlic powder. I like a little garlic powder always. Now what's gonna make a paprika's chicken without paprika? Now don't be scared to put some extra. It is paprika's chicken after all. Part of the dishes is we're gonna make some farfel. I'm gonna have to brown this farfel over here. Let's cover this up. Let's lower the flame. And let's let this cook for like an hour and a half. Nice and easy. Now I have to brown my farfel. Into the oil it goes. I don't know why some people call it farfel, farfel. Powerful, I don't know. Fair. This is the last part of the dish. This is where it starts getting funky. My grandmother didn't do this. Olive oil, don't be scared. Nice amount of olive oil. Nice amount. Salt. Black pepper. Mix it up. And we're gonna pan roast this. Probably around 20 minutes on 350. Into the oven it goes. Nice and brown. I'm gonna add my water. I have a little bit more, two cups of water on here. I'm gonna spice that with salt, pepper, and garlic powder. You can see the recipe on kosher.com. I have a little bit of water extra. Look at my chicken, look what's going on over here. 
I'm gonna add a little bit of water into my stuff. Just a little bit. This is gonna cook for around an hour and a half, so we can use a little bit of water. That's fine. Chicken, potatoes, garlic, onions, farfel, roasted tomatoes. In Yiddish, they say kreftik. That's what it smells like. Like real home food. This is what my wife requests from me to make when I come home from work. I don't do this in the restaurant. We don't do this at snacks. So when I come home and I cook dinner at night, this is what we make. The smell is just unbelievable. And in order to fix my farfel up a little bit, I'm gonna to try to get a little bit of the sauce. Just a little bit of the sauce right in there. And now, let's start plating. Wow. Chicken. Should I say a capital tail him? I hope my skin is nice and crispy. I really hope. Let's see. Oh. A little potatoes. Wow. Delicious. I'm gonna call this paprika chicken. Call it paprika chicken. I'm gonna call it paprika chicken. Or it be paprika. I don't care. Chicken and potatoes. Chicken and potatoes. I'm excited. I want to taste this. Before we do, how can you not have some wine from New Zealand and chicken from Hungary? I mean, it just goes together, right? So I chilled my wine. This will just bring out the flavors of my chicken even more. I'm ready. Go to kosher.com, check out my page, Travels with Yossi. I'll have the recipe right on the bottom. I'll have the amounts. I'll have everything right there. Try to copy it. Let me know what you think. Chaim.